Wow, has it ever been a minute, you know, up until my last video, or last time I did one of these videos, I should say. <laughs> High School DxD, a deeper look. So, Zenobia is the character we're going to be hopping on with today. And, I, you know, I like Zenobia. Uh, Zenobia's my favorite. I think she's best girl. I think she's a really cool character because she's always constantly, over, you know, under development because the way she's written to not be someone who is, you know, into recreational activities. Someone who lives an isolated life. Only went on missions. It was the only time she even got to see the world. And I guess that really, you know, essentially leads us to our first deeper look for Zenobia's character. You know, the first question I have for Zenobia's character, and the first thing I want to, like, look into is, how did she become part of the church? How did she get involved with the church? That's the biggest thing, we, you know, we, we need to think about here. And who are her parents, exactly? Do they share the same personality as Zenobia? Do you, have they lived an isolated life as well? And even at the same time, you got to ask, are they both originally even from the church? And that's something we could even ask for Edina, and that's that's a totally different, you know, deeper look for another time. But yet still, you have to ask that question. Are they like her? Why did they put her into the church if they knew she'd live an isolated life in order she could live or die for the church? I mean, we have not seen them to date, so it does, you know, it leaves a lot to, you know, imagine. It leaves a lot to the imagination of why did they do this to her daughter, even though it's not even a bad thing. Being part of the church, having a faith in religion is something that everyone has, right? Now... The thing, the thing I'm really just trying to, you know, hit the nail on the head with is the fact that why did they let her get this way? How are her parents? Because if her parents are people who are lively, how did Zenobia not turn out to be that person that's lively and was actually able to do recreational activity at, at least a young age? I mean, you establish yourself on who you are at a younger age, not whenever you're like really 13 exactly. I mean, whenever you're 5 to 12, that's a big range of your life. I mean, if you're a monotone person like Zenobia or not a monotone per you know, monotone person, that can be dictated right in that age range, you know? And especially, I mean, 13 to 18, there's a lot of stuff going on. Essentially, 13 to 15 is when most of that stuff's really, you know, going to happen. 13 to 16, 13 to 15, where you're going to go through changes per se. But if she did change and she was something else completely before, or a different type of person, that means she went through a whole lot of stuff to make her this way. Then I guess the next question we could also ask is about her parents is, did her parents like just give her to the church? I mean, did they say, hey, here's our daughter, here's our blessing, do with her what you must, because we do know she was, you know, one of the few people that could wield a holy sword. She was an original user by by blood, by DNA, genetics per se, right? And that's something that we do know, so it does make us wonder still, you know, maybe that's something to do with it. Maybe that's why Zenobia is who she is and why she actually became a part of the church, because maybe her parents felt as if she, it was a the, the grace of God, per se. You know what I mean? It just depends who is Zenobian and why is she, why was she in the church is the biggest question we have for her character. I'm really interested in that. I, I want to know more. I'm dying to know more. Hopefully, we get a little bit explained in High School DxD Season 4. And, you know, art style or not, I'm still invested, you know, in these characters. These characters are still the same characters as they used to be, but I guess with a different look, per se. I mean... Yeah, I'm not going to get into that because sometimes a different look can make a, make you feel as if someone's different, but that's not the point of this video. Now, I'm interested. I want to know about eating that too. Maybe that's the next one I do. She's actually the last on the list for me to do from the list I have so far. But, you know, just talking about Zenobia, it makes me want to kind of talk about eating that too. So what do you guys think about Zenobia? What do you think? What's your deeper look? No spoilers. No spoilers. Please, no spoilers. I, I, uh, I mean, season three, though, I do got to say, who was the person that trained her during season three whenever they all did their own training for like a month so as always guys i'll see you guys next time you get some hex be sure to leave a like come subscribe follow me twitter x25 if you guys like what i do here go check out my patreon and pledge some see you guys next time peace